Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's recipe, I'm gonna show you how to make some peppermint bark. Perfect for the holidays, right? So for those of you that are not familiar with it, basically a layer, a nice thin layer of milk chocolate topped with a layer of white chocolate. And then we're gonna press in some crushed up candy canes. And guys, I tell you, this makes a delicious treat, a nice gift that you can give away at Christmas time. That's what I'm gonna do with some of it. And uh, I think you'll really enjoy it. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it for this holiday season. So here's our ingredients. I'm using a really good quality chocolate here because that's what this whole recipe is about, the chocolate. So I'm using guitar chocolate chips. I have milk chocolate here. And here is a uh, vanilla milk chips is what it's called. We'll need some candy canes. Remember, they need to be peppermint flavored because there's all kinds out there in the store, a lot of different flavors. And we'll need some peppermint extract. That's it. I'm gonna start off by prepping two things before we get started melting our chocolate. The first is our candy canes. I took them out of their wrappers and I placed them into a Ziploc bag, which you can see right here. And then you just take whatever you have to crush them, all right? You got your hammer, we got our rolling pin, and what I'm gonna use is my meat tenderizer. So whatever works for you guys. Keep in mind that you want to crush this where you have some very fine parts of it, and then you have some big chunks, depending on how you like it. So just pound away until you get the consistency you like. The second thing you're gonna to wanna to prep is your pan. I'm using a cookie sheet here lined with some aluminum foil. So here's my tip for you. Make sure to tape the foil to the pan because when you start spreading chocolate around and you don't have it taped, that foil is gonna slide all over and just give you a headache. So tape it down. I use some uh, painter's tape, which comes off real easy, and, but any tape will work. We're ready to start uh, melting our chocolate. I have a double boiler here. You wanna make sure the water doesn't touch the pan underneath. And if you don't have a double boiler, go ahead and you get a saucepan and put a glass bowl in it. And again, make sure the water doesn't touch the bottom of the, of the dish when it's heating up the chocolate so that it doesn't get too hot. So I have my temperature on low. I'm just gonna toss in the milk chocolate and wait for that to start melting. So I just keep stirring the chocolate, turning it over until it just completely melts, but it's not getting very hot. As soon as this melts, I'm gonna add the peppermint. In goes the peppermint. One teaspoon of that. Now you're gonna see the consistency of the chocolate begin to change. It starts to kind of seize up a little bit. So we wanna just mix that in and, and then just keep stirring until it gets nice and smooth again. You see how it's a little bit kind of chunky almost. So I'm gonna take this off the heat now. I have a towel just sitting here next to me and I'm gonna set it on the towel. So I'm just trying to smooth this out again. And I'm gonna go back on the heat just for a minute. So you just wanna go back and forth on the heat a little bit and just keep stirring until it gets nice and smooth. So I'm just gonna, like I said, just spread this out. And we want it to be fairly thin because remember we're putting two layers on here. So I wanna have, have this be about an eighth of an inch or so. And the chocolate right now is not that hot. I just wanted to mention that to you. So if you have a nice flat tool like this, you can spread it out pretty easily. And like I said, get it nice and thin. And if you don't have a tool like this, you can use your spatula, because I've done that. All right, guys, I'm ready to start the white chocolate layer. Uh, we're gonna start melting this the same way. All the lumps have just melted, so now I'm gonna add the peppermint extract again. And then we'll stir that in, and you'll see it change consistency again, where it's kind of seizing seizing up a little bit and continue to stir until this chocolate gets nice and smooth again. Now when we put the two layers together, we want to make sure that the chocolate is still kind of warm. So I, I spread out the chocolate as I go. I don't just put it all in one spot. Now here you just want to get it nice and even without making it bleed through. So the key point here is to make sure that that milk chocolate layer is warm and not hot. Otherwise the colors will bleed and make it difficult to spread. Also, don't be tempted to place your milk chocolate layer in the refrigerator to chill because then the two layers won't stick together. Time for the candy canes. So we're just gonna sprinkle this over gently. Now I've got quite a few bigger pieces on here as you can see. And what I'm gonna do here in a minute is I'm gonna get all the big pieces that I want and then I'm gonna pound this down a little bit more 
so that I get more of the dust all over. I'll we'll call it dust. Now you're going to want to press this in a little bit with your hand, some of the big pieces. Make sure it sticks. All right, guys, our peppermint bark has been in the refrigerator for about two hours. You want to leave it in there at least that long so it gets nice and hard and crispy so that, and I tested it to make sure that it was hard enough. And uh, you just break it apart with your hands, break it into different sizes and shapes. And there you go. That's it. It's really simple to do. You guys are going to love this. It tastes great. And uh, like I said, you can package it up. I've got little packages here, little cellophane bags. You put it in there and put maybe a little piece of candy, you tie it with some ribbon. And you got a nice little gift that you can give to, you know, your friends and family. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really do appreciate you guys taking time out to watch it. If you think of somebody that might enjoy making some bark, you know, share the video with them. I really appreciate that. So thanks again for watching. Oh yeah, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and click that button uh, down there at the bottom of the video and you'll be notified every week when a new video comes out. So thanks again, we'll see you next time and Merry Christmas.